welcome to my video and I thought I would do a little review of um, a very popular face mask at Lush and that is the mask of magnanimity. I've got two pots here because one is the self-preserving version and one is the regular version. I was really curious to see how they compared so what I've been doing is I've been having just my own curiosity as well but I thought it was perfect for the review half my face self-preserving, half my face in the regular. And I've used um, both of these pots five times now. These are the 125 gram pots. And I've just written down the prices here. So these pots are 10 pounds. Um, and then you can get bigger pots, 315 grams for 18 pounds. And if you really like it, use it all the time, you can get a 600 gram pot for 30 pounds. Um, I'm probably gonna get a few more uses out of these, um, but I just wanted to show you it before I finish the pots. So this one is the self-preserving. And as you can see, it's a dark green color inside. And it does smell minty. Some people have described it as mint chocolate ice cream. I don't get that. I do get minty, but I don't get mint chocolate ice cream at all. I mean, it's quite a nice smell. Um, but that's how much I've got left in the pot there. So I reckon I'll get another two uses out of this one. Um, so that'll be seven uses um, for the self-preserving. Um, and then the regular one, um, it's about the same really. I'll probably get another maybe two, three uses out of here. Um, this one smells more minty to me. Um, and this one, when I used this one, um, it actually made my eyes water a little bit. Um, I think just because of there's more mint in there, when it got near my eyes, it did make my eyes water a little bit. Then they settled down, so it wasn't a problem. What I've done is I've written down a comparison for both of them to let you know what I think. Obviously, this is my opinion. Um, so for the self-preserving one, this one has a lot more honey in it. So this has got 25% honey. So it's a lot more runny. It's, I found it a lot easier to apply because it spreads more easily. Um, I also found um, that it was more moisturizing afterwards as well. Um, so my skin didn't feel so dry afterwards. Um, also found it easier to clean off. Um, with the regular one, I found that it, it was harder to put on because it was more dry and solid. So it was more clumpy, if you know what I mean. Um, it was very cooling though, because it's got more mint in there, I found half of my face was very cooling. Um, like I said, it made my eyes water a little bit. Um, it was harder to get off because it does, um, when it sets, it does dry a lot more. My skin felt a lot tighter as well. And the only thing is that I found my skin was very dry afterwards. So my opinion is if you have very oily skin, like I used to when I was a teenager, I used to have a really oily T-zone, really bad. Um, this would have been perfect for that because it really strips out all the oils. So for me, I prefer the self-preserving version. I just felt that it didn't dry out my skin as much, easier to apply, easier to get off. So for me, I would buy this one again. Um, I wouldn't buy the regular one. But I think if you've got oily skin, definitely give this one a go because you'll probably find this one might suit you better. But I have to say that when I compare this to the Don't Look At Me, um, I still prefer the Don't Look At Me face scrub. Um, I really liked that one. I wasn't so keen on the scent to start with, but in comparison, I do prefer it to this one. Um, but obviously you can't always get to a store to get a fresh face mask. So this is always a good alternative. And I'm sure that if you put this in the fridge and then put it on your face as well, that would be cooling. But I just think it's the, don't look at me, I just felt really moisturized afterwards. So that's what I really liked about that one. Um, the next thing I'll do is I'll do a quick demo on my hands in the bathroom just to show you what they're like side by side so you can see the texture and I'll do a quick run through of the ingredients and show you what's on the back of the stickers as well. 
The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to compare this to the cup of coffee face mask. I do have a little pot of the cup of coffee on the go at the moment. So once again, I'm going to do the same thing, half face coffee, half face magnum in tea. Um, just because I want to know for myself which one I prefer and which one I would keep eyeing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that as well and then I will report back to you once I've used it a few times. Hi, so I'm in the bathroom, so I just wanted to show you the difference between the two different masks. So this one is the self-preserving one and on the front it says it's a power mask which is a slightly different description to the regular mask of Magnum Inti. The other one um, just says face and body mask. And the um, consistency of this one, I'll show you, is a lot more runny. So you can see it's got a lot more of a runny texture. I'll just compare it to the other one. So as you can see, the other one looks a lot more solid. Um, um, and this is because the other one's the one on the left has got a lot more honey in it, so it's a lot more runny. So just running through the ingredients for you, um, it's got bentone gel, kaolin, honey, talc, ground organic aduki beans, which is the exfoliating section of the scrub, glycerin, evening primrose seeds, peppermint oil, tagetes oil, vanilla absolute, limonene perfume. So the only difference between the two is that on the self-preserving one it mentions honey first so obviously there's a lot more honey. And on the back of the label, um, for those of you that don't know, um, there's always a sticker on the, each product and it says who's made the product, this was made by Tony, it says the date it was made, when it expires, so that you know when to use it by. And then if you peel back the sticker there's always a little saying. On the back of this one it says prepare for a cold front and it says the same on both of the pots. So I thought I'd give you a little demo of what it's like on my hand as well so you can see the difference in the consistency between the two of them. So this is a self-preserving one so you can see it spreads quite easily um, and it's a lot more runny and as I said it doesn't dry as firm on your skin either. And then the one above it is the regular mask of Magnum Inti. You can see it's thicker, it's not as wet, um, and it's a little bit harder to spread. I and mean, it's not the end of the world, but this one definitely is more minty. So this one um, has a lot more of a minty sensation, very cooling. So it's lovely for the summer on a really hot day. But yeah, that's the main difference between the two. So me personally, I prefer this one, the one with the more honey. Um, but I think if you've got oily skin, um, I would definitely give this one a go. And just to show you, they wash off really easily as well. And especially the honey one, that washes off really well. And um, you, if you don't want to have a scrub, then just don't scrub it in. Um, but it's, it's, it's not a harsh scrub at all. But yeah, it rinses off really easily, as you can see. So let me know what you think of these two scrubs. Um, don't forget as well that when you finish these pots, you can take them back to Lush. And if you save five of them, they'll give you a free fresh face mask. Or if you don't want a fresh face mask, they'll give you 50p per pot off other items that you want to buy. So do save them. And if you like these videos, don't forget to press the like button and um, subscribe to my channel if you want to. I will be doing a giveaway at 250 subscribers um, with some Lush and Body Shop goodies. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.